OMG BG! Longness is back! Finally! So this is the Beyblade Burst GT Longness upgrade. It's no longer being used by Louis. That's uh -huh. a little bit disappointing. So sad. But it looks pretty intense though, this character. Anyways, this is the Zuai Longness or Sway Longness, depending on how you read it. But it's really pronounced Zuai because the Japanese spelling is like right there with the katakana. So this new longness seems uh, pretty normal actually, it looks uh, pretty basic. I guess they went back to the drawing board and they got inspiration from the first longness, Lost on Longness, and they just basically bulked it up really badly. So this longness, it features the longness gachi chip, we have the metsu weight, and then the sway base. So in the katakana, it's, uh, it's actually a TSU with a V-A-I. I'm surprised they spell it out as sway, but it's actually yeah, like zi vai. Yeah, zi vai. Zi vai longness. Yeah. However you want to read it, I guess. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah, and then uh, next up, ooh, this is a new disc here. This is Drake. Yo, Drizzy? Drake. Uh, this is like an OVO collab <laughs> with Beyblade. I want my chips with the disc. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, and then we have Spyro. Spyro Dash, actually. So Spyro originally came with Lost Longness, so they really beefed it up and uh, I guess it made the return. Um, that one is a pretty aggressive driver. It goes around the stadium very quickly. Without further ado, let's open up this Beyblade Burst GT Bay Longness and um, yeah, let's see what we have inside and let's see the gimmicks. Before we get started with this new Longness unboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so you know when our next video goes up. Thanks for the support, guys. All right, so I'm just gonna call it Sway Longness just because that's how it's spelled out in English. Um, so this is a first look at our new Longness. Look at this layer. The base, it flares out super high. Dude, those on these two <laughs> blades. sides. It's those dragon heads crazy. are crazy. And remember, this is a left spin, of course, with longness and again, like attack type uh, with these kind of protrusions. That's pretty intense. It's definitely gonna cause some damage during battles. Um, so, without further ado, let's uh, put the stickers on and we will discover this gimmick together. All right, we have all the stickers on Longness. Let's unlock it and we'll show you the inside. And this is basically what the gimmick is about. So essentially, when you take this apart, let's take a look at the base first. You see there's two huge wings we we're talking to you guys about. Not only are they kind of protruding upwards, they also have metal on top of them. So that gives extra weight uh, along these two sides of that base. And then with our new Metsu weight, that adds even more metal just on those two sides. Ooh. So the distribution of those weight is uh, pretty intense on these two sides. Um, that uh, supposedly help with attack power, those burst power that you need. Uh, I think it will be pretty intense once your bay hits this corner or the opposite corner. Okay, so that's basically the gimmick. Um, it's basically just a weight distribution gimmick. We are now getting metal on the base of the GT energy layer. All right, so let's put this back together. Okay, remember this is also a left spinning gachi chip. Now I'll take a quick look at the teeth. It looks pretty intense. Uh, there's a huge teeth uh, on the side. So I can expect a pretty tight Beyblade. Okay, so this is the Drake disc. And you can't take this plastic bit out, uh, but if you look at them on the side angle here, uh, there are protruding sides that points downwards. So hopefully that's not gonna scrape on the stadium too badly. We also have two of these dragon heads. These are also extra weight on the two sides that matches the dragon heads on the layer. So basically we're gonna have like really heavy weight on these two sides because it's all layered on top of each other. Okay, so let's lock it in using our new spiral dash. Let's click it in. Oh, this is gonna be so tight. You guys ready for this? You ready for this? Oh! Do you hear that? That's so tight. Okay, this tops um, Slash Valkyrie, I think. Or at least the same. Sway Longness. 59 Nine. grams. 
Okay, that's not the heaviest Beyblade we've seen, because uh, Judgment Joker, I think it was, it broke 60. That, that one's 61. Compared to our Slash Valkyrie, Slash Valkyrie is 56 grams, so heavier than Slash Valkyrie. Um, do I smell a battle coming with these two? forget that uh, this is actually a booster pack so it doesn't come with launcher so let's use one of our launchers from wizard fafnir and we'll use a left spin here three two one go shoot wow okay. it's great though so as i mentioned before i was like hope it doesn't scrape because of that disc and i guess it is scraping a little bit Dude, it looks so big in the stadium though but uh I'm sure it's going to be a super fun Beyblade with huge recoil. So make sure you stay tuned to the battles because uh, we're going to be putting this guy against all the other new Beyblade Burst GT base. Okay? Um, if you have a request for battle, let us know in the video description below. Make sure you like this video um, and tell us what you think about this Sui Longness or Tsubai Longness if you're Japanese. Um, yeah, that's basically it for the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the support. And as always, Geek Soap!